Millions of Americans choose to serve our country. Ordinary citizens driven by a belief in our values. They serve with honor, courage, and integrity to protect our freedoms and secure democracy in America for this generation and the next. With their service comes real life lessons in leadership. Here are their stories. Keith Miller, Lieutenant Colonel, United States Army. My journey into the Army is interesting, although hardly unique. I grew up with stories of Arthurian legends, of heroes fighting for those who couldn't. As I got older, I felt that my duty was to give back to those who could not protect themselves, either because they were incapable, had family obligations, or a desire to follow a different path. Inspiration was easy to come by in our household. My father was in the military for 25 years. He served as did many of our family members. Their acts of selfless sacrifice, strong moral convictions, and adherence to a code of honor is the framework I try to live by. And today, my twin brother and I are both serving as Lieutenant Colonels in the United States Army. Very few decide to join our armed forces. However, we gain purpose and are provided an opportunity to see the world and experience different cultures. We get to go beyond our nation and see how wonderful it is and help those who are in need. Our nation's army is made of ordinary citizens like you and me, and it has a long and illustrious history of sacrifice and victory. Its purpose remains constant, to deploy, fight, and win our nation's wars by providing ready, prompt, and sustained land dominance by army forces across the full spectrum of conflict as part of the joint force. The army's mission is vital because we can defeat enemy ground forces and seize and control those things in an adversary prizes most, its land, resources, and population. After my commission, I served for over a decade as a cavalry officer, including two tours in Iraq. I was responsible for locating enemy positions, clearing zones, and conducting route reconnaissance. Following this, I started to explore the idea of becoming a strategic intelligence officer. I was excited to learn that I had the opportunity to serve with our various intelligence agencies and experience the more clandestine side of warfare. A strategic intelligence officer has a holistic view of various national security threats, including terrorism, unconventional warfare, and hybrid warfare. We look at all regions of the world, especially current hotspots such as Russia, China, and the Middle East. There is a crucial difference between our work and tactical intelligence officers in the various service branches. A tactical intelligence officer might say, a Russian force is moving near the border with Ukraine. A strategic intelligence officer asks the more nebulous question, why and what are Russia's motives? We frame larger issues for senior leaders throughout the government and the DOD. We also have the opportunity to work in or with multiple agencies, such as the FBI and CIA. As an officer, we're entrusted to lead. And above all, I believe in trust. Earn the trust of your subordinates, peers, and superiors. Take ruthless responsibility for your actions and empower your people. Leadership begins with being a good follower. To take care of your people, you must support the team and give them a chance to lead. For example, people often say, it's not my fault when things go wrong. The boss told me to do this. This is wrong. You should support your leader and own tasks that are assigned to you. If you have an issue with the decision made, have the personal courage and fortitude to approach those in charge and suggest alternatives. The other attribute of a good leader is the willingness to jump in, take charge and assume responsibility. Often people do not want to take responsibility for fear of failure. However, by taking responsibility for something, you have the chance to make it your own and build a common purpose towards mission success. Yet it comes back to trusting and empowering your people. You must give them clear guidance and expectations and provide the resources needed to succeed. Still, you don't always have to provide specifics. You want to enable creativity to instill a want of responsibility and the drive to win. The United States Army is the greatest ground force on the planet. It comprises ordinary citizen soldiers driven by a shared vision, regardless of their backgrounds. That is humbling. The mission of defending our nation binds us all together as brothers and sisters, regardless of our differences. By joining the Army, I feel I have a chance to give back to the nation, to repay our people, and be a productive citizen.